welcome to all this class is single class for heading is there how to decide whether cross section is to be designed as single line post or double line post and then accordingly how to find cross sectional area required of longitudinal reinforcement it is already uploaded i will give small information first see class number if you see the my channel there recently uploaded in the title i wrote class 46 then a b c d and e remember this title is meant for the rcc batch i am running here that is <coughs> that is my the course conducted by me for complete rcc in that course wherever some important concepts are there i uploaded in the youtube so that general public can benefit this you already know it because sometime you can see class 17 suddenly jump to class 19 or 21 like that so you should not see this title instead you should see the thumbnail there you can see correct heading and or correct title and it of a b c d e you can see part 1 part 2 part 3 etc so therefore you see recently uploaded the previously uploaded class there is no class 46 there calculation of a s t for single line post and a s t and a c for w line post rectangular section you can see there part a part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 part 5 during the recording what happened is in some of the parts i observed later that sometimes i forgot to wear the mic but still it is okay you can hear properly but some faint voice therefore also some places little disturbance was there so i decided instead of in five parts it is better to give compact in one class so this is nothing but same class 46 there for the group or the title i given earlier calculation of ac and as ast ast and asc for singly and doubly that one all those five parts together in one compact form so that you can once you start from here today and end this class all those are covered so you can do one thing and i will give some more technical information here therefore what you do is you first go through this class completely without skipping one word also and wherever i tell make note you should make a note once everything is over earlier five parts uploaded you can use as practice question use as practice question okay now one more information sorry this class is for singly line post and double line post rc beams of rectangular cross section not for other t section or not valid the anyway practically always rectangular section will come and then this is design oriented earlier little earlier i uploaded analysis oriented how to find ultimate mr now design oriented some more information is there i will tell class what all i tell right here then only start there see i will tell now only again and again in this class i will not tell whatever i tell is for your benefit so it is to give more information once you write all those things systematically any day later you can refer it so don't be too lazy write everything systematically okay. now i will tell what you write see during design i am not writing here now i am dictating or explaining during design we have to decide the cross section that is the most important in structural engineering design means deciding cross section to meet strength requirement and serviceability requirement serviceability i will not discuss here like deflection control control of crack width etc i won't discuss here strength means what see first of all see in rcc is code 456 you can see limit state of strength in flexure or bending 
limit state of strength in shear, limit state of strength in torsion, limit state of strength in compression. What it means? First of all, remember, strength means capacity of the cross-section to resist section forces. If you want more information, you can do one thing. You can go to my channel. There is a, a what you call it as a, in the playlist. Uh, okay. See, these new words all I have to remember. Playlist, you can see, SFD, BMD. So many might of you seen that one. There, I uploaded around more than 130 classes there. Systematically covering SFD, BMD. There, you see the first class. That is introduction class. There, I explained so many important concepts. Difference between equilibrium and section forces. What is section force? All I explained. So, go through that once again. Now, I will tell once again. Section force means something which is to be resisted by cross-section. Remember, so many places they tell beam is required to resist the load. Sorry, wrong. Beam is not resisting the load. Beam is supporting the load and then it is transferred to other members which are supporting the beam like columns or wall. So, no structural member will resist the load. They will all receive the load and transfer. During this process, see the most powerful, the cross-section of the member. Cross-section I told. If this is length, this is cross-section. See, it will come like this. Cross-section of member is subjected to section forces. There are four section forces, namely axial force, compression or tension, shear force, this way or this way, bending moment, sagging or hogging, and also twisting moment or torsional moment or torque, this way. See, people will always tell cross-section subjected to that one. Now think a little, people are telling axial force, shear force, bending moment, torsion, they are all internal. It is ridiculous, they are not internal, they are external. Resistance is internal. So remember, loads are transferred, but the section forces cannot be transferred, they should be resisted by the cross-section. So our cross-section should be able to resist it. Now. How? Whatever section force comes for the cross-section. See, it is subjected to. The capacity or resisting capacity should be either equal to the section force or more. It should not be lesser. Simple example. See, for example, bending moment for cross-section. 100 kilo Newton meter. Resisting capacity. Resisting capacity is... 90 kilo Newton meter means what? Means the cross section is subjected to a bending moment of 100. But its resisting capacity is only 90. Therefore, this is not safe. Right? Not safe. You cannot design a beam where bending moment for the cross section exceeds what? Resisting capacity. Or I will tell one more thing. Bending moment is external. It is acting on the cross-section. Like when you purchase something, suppose you go to a hotel and eat, how much bill comes? That is bending moment. The bending moment is like a bill which you have to pay. Like section force which cross-section has to resist. Bill. What is resisting capacity? Resisting capacity or also called as Ultimate MR, if you remember correctly. Ultimate MR means what? Ultimate moment of resistance. Maximum factored BM cross-section can resist. That is like what? This is a bill. This is like money in the pocket. Money in the pocket. See, bill is a money, money also money. Now what do you want? You are safe if the bill is either equal to money in the pocket or less than the money in the pocket or the money in the pocket is either equal to bill or more than bill. Like, suppose the bill comes to 100 rupees. 
you have got only 90 rupees no not safe so if your bill you are expecting a bill of 100 rupees in you should have a money of either 100 or more than 100 so when you design a cross section what you have to do is you should ensure that resisting capacity of the cross section is either equal to bending moment or more than bending moment because today we are discussing only bending moment okay this is one part you have to remember now in rc sections this all you are right cross section means what if it is a timber beam cross section means like width and depth if it is a steel beam ismb islb angle section t section etc but in rcc cross section means width and depth i am discussing only rectangular section now width and depth not over because when bend, due to bending compression and tension both will come concrete is quite strong in compression and relatively very very weak in tension so where tension comes what to do? we provide steel reinforcement so the steel reinforcement will take tension you should provide the reinforcement in such a way that the cross section whatever you provide should develop a resisting capacity either equal to factored bm mu that is it mu or more but for design what you do you make mu the resisting capacity equal to mu equate but when you you get the area of the steel required when you provide it when you provide the steel you provide little more see therefore strength will become more so therefore whenever you want to find requirement you equate the bending moment to ultimate mr or you ensure that the designed cross section can develop a resisting capacity equal to mu or more than mu we will equate to mu now remember so rc beams two terms are there one is cross section dimensions that we are not covering here see first you have decided cross section dimensions width and depth so many factors are there architectural requirements sometime then also uh, lateral stability is there depression control is there that all i am not covering here it will be that i will be covering in my regular course see this is class number 46 today i took class number 54 or 55 i think so there i am covering everything because it is meant for complete design of rcc not this uh, occasionally given concept for you i am giving important concept Therefore, that all be covered here. So, when you come to this part, your cross section will be given for you. Area of steel, we have to decide. So, very, very important. You have to find. And also, factored BM, MU will be given. But during design, not that way. You have to find the loading on the beam, its own self-weight, dead load, live load, you have to calculate. Finally, you have to calculate the bending moment. But here, that is all earlier part. So when you reach this stage, how to find the area of reinforcement, remember cross section will be given, will be known to you and also factored BM, MU will be known for you. Shear force also will be known, that comes later, actually already I uploaded for working test method, limit state, I will upload fast. So therefore remember now, our importance is how to find required cross sectional area of longitudinal reinforcement see reinforcement goes this way we have to find this cross sectional area i will second round i will explain it now remember if it is singly reinforced reinforcement is only on tension side means compression take resisted by concrete tension resisted by tension steel ast so that ast you have to find but sometimes you require more strength. What, what, what will be done? You provide reinforcement even on compression zone. See, tension zone reinforcement is always there. So, then there is reinforcement on compression zone and also tension zone. It becomes doubly reinforced section. In such cases, you have to find AST required and also compression steel AST required. For when cross section is subjected to factored BM, MU. See, class. I am telling all the concept here, write everything systematically. It will take some time. Go through the class slowly and write. You will 
get complete knowledge on this part. Okay. Now come this side. What the second most important concept I need not tell here. You get the requirement. Little later at the end of the class it will be over. Then you have to provide it. When you provide what to do? You have to consider codal requirement. IS code will specify what is the minimum steel to be given and also what is the maximum permitted steel or maximum limit for steel. That, so requirement you get from this class. So what you are getting is, is requirement based on strength. That is IS code. So one thing important, whatever is the IS code requirement, whatever requirement you get here, that much steel area you have to provide. You can give more, but you should not give less because what steel you are getting from this procedure, this class, that is the area of the steel required so that cross-section can develop a resisting capacity equal to MU, factored BM. If you provide lesser steel, suppose based on IS code, no, it is, section becomes unsafe. I will give a small example for AST. For AST, I will tell. Suppose your AST required, we don't know. IS code will specify minimum AST to be provided and also maximum permissible AST. So imagine as per IS code, minimum AST, I will put here, and also maximum permissible AST. AST. Actually, minimum AST is 0.85 BD by FY. Maximum permissible AST is 0.04 BD. That all you provide later. So just imagine, minimum AST is 250 mm square. And maximum permissible AST is say 3000 mm, or not 3000, little more. 4000 mm square, randomly I am telling, mm square. So what IS code condition now? IS code is not bothered about this bending moment MU, singly, doubly, they are not bothered. They are telling you for the beam, you should not provide steel less than 250 mm square and also should not provide steel, one of them is for maintain ductility, other is to prevent congestion. Okay. Maximum steel is limited to 4000 means you should never give steel less than 250 and should not give steel more than 4000. Okay, now, this is IS code requirement. Remember, always safety first. Safety means strength requirement. See, I told you, I am telling you, these requirement right here, the requirement you are getting in the class is based on strength. Right? Clearly, based on strength. Of course, strength means bending strength here. Based on strength, that requirement has to be satisfied. So always remember, strength first, then IS code. IS code, if it comes, when I am calculating steel, if IS code comes, I will tell, wait for some time. Let me complete. Then you tell what is your condition. Don't interfere when I am calculating. You tell the IS code, I am finding strength. Strength is the most important. IS code secondary, but you have to satisfy. Now see, based on strength, imagine AST required is 180 mm square. Means, this is based on strength. Or, what all I am writing here is from our class. From strength point of view, you require 180 mm square. Now you have to provide it. IS code will tell, you should not give less than 250. Okay. What to do? Don't give 180, provide 250. Strength also is happy. Why? Requirement is 180, you are giving 250. Strength also is happy. It will have more strength. IS code also will not object. Done. Second case, suppose you are, okay, pass, provide 250, right here. Provide 250. I am not, I am only giving information, not fair copy I am giving. You should write. One example. Second example, based on strength, AST required is 1800 mm square. Okay, start. When you are about to provide, see, this much steel you have to provide. IS code will tell, you should not provide less than 250. You can tell, I am providing 1800. Can't you see it? Oh, okay. 
but is code will tell you should not provide more than 4000 see here am i providing 4000 more than 4000 no keep quiet so therefore in such cases provide requirement of 1800 now so provide what whatever requirement you provide one more case ast required is 5000 mm square now this will not come now see you are about to provide five, see when the requirement is 5000 mm square you have to provide 5000 if you give lesser strength will be lesser always i told strength first then is code but is code will object it will tell i am not permitting you to provide more than 4000 why means rcc it comes too much i can't tell here then what to do in the offline class i ask students what to do they will tell sir we will provide 4000 oh very good no wrong if you provide 4000 beam is asking for 5000 the beam will tell whatever strength you want you whatever strength the cross section has to develop if you want it safe if you want the bending moment to be safely resisted by me you provide me 5000 mm square you tell the beam but is code is restricting to 4000 beam will tell i do not know any is code i want 5000 you cannot give 4000 i told whatever from requirement comes you have to provide what to do is beam cross section to be redesigned don't tell provide 4000 if you are lim- if you cannot provide more than 4000 when the requirement is 5000 cross section is to be redesigned provide a higher cross section which will reduce the steel requirement required and also maximum will go slightly more or you revise the cross section so that your requirement comes within maximum limit then you provide then you provide which one provide requirement okay this much information extra i am giving for your benefit okay now all these things you write correctly systematically what all i told it will take some one hour i think okay good why you struggle and write with systematic statement future will be helpful for you if not now someone will tell finally in the offline class they will tell sir is explaining so many things you know finally what he will do is he will start procedure or oh, then i will be alert see that is only exam oriented no that is for those who are not interested in technical knowledge if you want to learn and basic concept explanations are important so everything go through here what i told uh, remember i told once again here if singly in see statement i like again and again this will come if singly in post only ast if w in post ast ac what i am writing i am not writing area of steel i am writing cross sectional area of steel technical term i am writing okay now everything is clear i think i'll go to next part now continue see consider a beam running like this this way so if the beam see two cases are there this is cross section considered cross section considered okay okay consider a beam running like this this is lengthwise or longitudinal reinforcement is like this longitudinal reinforcement can be at the bottom or top okay first imagine sagging you do one thing take a particular cross section i am cutting because i cannot show full beam i will tell the reason for you if i show the full beam what will happen is it is possible for a full beam somewhere hogging somewhere sagging can come so one particular cross section if you consider here so this is further i am not extending sagging so what happens here top compression bottom tension therefore whatever bottom you are providing see little dark i made important the bottom steel is ast top compression so the top steel will be compression steel or steel in the compression side if the cross section is singly reinforced it is not asc it is a nominal reinforcement so that you can support the stirrups sometimes people call hanger bars okay so the top bar will be see it will run this way if it is singly reinforced there is no asc 
it will become nominal if it is singly ion post but if it is doubly ion post it becomes ast i will tell you shred dry little later i wrote there okay now imagine beam is subjected to hogging then top tension bottom compression now top will be ast for the cross section here only bottom will be nominal if it is singly ion post whereas it is asc if it is w ion post now now onwards means right from here remember see when i write on the board how much information i am giving everything systematically i do not want to waste time and it will take up the space so in future whenever i want to write singly reinforced i will write shri s r i whenever i want doubly reinforced i will put d r i dry but so in my, in my offline class i will ask suppose mu less than mu limit what is the cross section they will tell sir shri i will tell them don't tell shri dry i can tell i am teaching you are learning tell correctly sir singly reinforced or tell that way you write also in future whenever i write sri you should write singly reinforced wherever i put dri you should write doubly reinforced up to some limit when you got full control your choice now see this ri ri means reinforced here why i am telling because see also note in future sometimes i will write steel reinforcement i will put if i want steel reinforcement i will write steel ri steel ri now this ri is not verb it is a noun sorry beam is reinforced if i write beam is ri means it is not beam is reinforcement if i put a beam is ri means beam is reinforced it is a verb but i if i write tension ri means tension reinforcement so depending on the meaning you i, I will use ri if you feel it is a verb reinforced you write reinforced or if i am using ri for reinforcement you write reinforcement now one more thing why i took a small length of beam not full length because suppose you take a span of a continuous beam imagine it is a continuous beam then see this is the bmd on tension side if it is udl okay if it is udl what will happen here is here tension beam will hog here beam will sag hog see here here top will be ast bottom will be you right nominal if it is singly ion post or asc if it is doubly ion post same thing here also but here see tension in the bottom bottom will be ast top will be nominal if singly ion post or asc if doubly ion post that's why i took separately sagging separately hogging means this section is somewhere here this section is somewhere here okay hope it is clear okay now i will go to technical part this much information i wanted to give which i have not given in the earlier classes in the five parts now most important part singly reinforced rectangular section you should make a note singly reinforced cross section means steel is steel reinforcement is provided only on tension side but practically they provide on other side also that is later technically or structurally steel reinforcement is required only on tension side that is ast okay bm can be either sagging or hogging sometime i will ask the students show the bm here is it this way or this way 99% people will tell it is this way sir no wrong this is lengthwise this is cross section it is this way see it is see this way sagging here it is this way hogging okay leave it okay now see here this is for sagging bm top compression bottom tension simultaneously for hogging bm so top tension bottom compression okay now see here 
Now for both of them common statement. See, this statement I am writing here is for both, not for this one. See correctly. B, width, breadth or width. Capital D, overall depth. AST, area of steel in tension. See in the bottom here, in the top here. Then D, effective depth. No place to write. I told so many times, those who want to write here, those who are interested and serious and hardworking and dedicated people write. D, effective depth. That is, distance of centroid of tension steel from extreme compression edge. See, ECE -E 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 -C -E means extreme compression edge. Oh, that is short for, for me. Okay. Therefore, your D equal to capital D minus this distance effective cover to tension reinforcement. See here, D equal to capital D minus this is effective cover to tension reinforcement. Those who are serious will write. Okay, over. Then, XU is depth of neutral, neutral axis from extreme compression edge, XU. Here also, uh, I have shown XU here, XU here. Okay. Now, this is the common part for singly. One more information. Strain diagram, see this is actually right here. Strain variation diagram across cross section, if you are interested. Strain variation diagram across cross section. Actually for our class, the strain variation diagram is not required. I wrote for some purpose. Okay. Now, anyway, remember, epsilon C, maximum compressive strain in concrete, it is at the extreme compression edge equal to 0 0.0035. Epsilon ST is strain in steel in tension, compression tension, strain variation is always linear. Remember, this is for this one. See, there, compression here, tension here. I written everything. See, remember, this strain diagram, this diagram is singly reinforced section you don't require. For, you write anyway, no problem. For singly reinforced section, it is not required. Still I wrote, reason is there. So this is for singly reinforced. Therefore, make a note here. Here, we as per our class, we have to find find AST required required here also in this case here we have to find AST required actually I am telling this more than 100 times now ok AST required over this is for singly reinforced. Now, I will continue now only for W reinforced. So that, but remember, what happens is, I apply some corrections. You should not do it. This much you systematically write. Then start new part. Not allowed, remember. You can't do this way. Now, one more page. W reinforced. Same statement. First, make a note. What all you discussed for single end post will repeat for W end post. Sagging BM, tension bottom, capital D, small d, XU from here, epsilon C, epsilon ST. Hogging BM, B, capital D, D from here, XU from here, tension top, bottom compression, all same. But in addition to that one, what you require is this is your ASC, cross-sectional area of steel in compression, ASC. Usually remember, ASC is less than AST. Okay, now, you need one more data, distance of centroid of compression steel from extreme compression edge. This is called D dash. That's why I left a space here. Okay, here, see, here, a XU, go that side. I will tell you XU. Go that side. <laughs> okay. Gone. This is XU. See. This way. This is your D dash. Or D dash means what? 
distance from extreme compression edge to from extreme compression edge, you have to come to centroid of compression steel. So, so all this you write once again, then add extra now. What extra? ASC. See now everything you have to write second round if you are serious. ASC means cross sectional area of steel in tension. Are you <laughs> in compression? In compression, okay, no place in compression. And D dash is effective cover cover to compression reinforcement. Three compression RI RI means reinforcement. Now, those who want right here, if you are serious, which is distance of centroid of compression steel from extreme compression edge ECE. Write this much. Now, now remember, now your strain diagram is required, strain diagram is required. But one minute, one small note I write here, see, one small note, ah, sorry, one minute. Here we have to find AST required and also ASA required. Here we have to find AST required and also AFC required. Understood. Okay, now one small note you are right now only. See some space is there. Or I can remove this one because why this is not required. I'll remove this one now. You write somewhere down. One small note for both. When we find AFC required, the equation is I'll write here MU minus MU limit equal to FSC into ASC into D minus D dash. Don't worry now. I am giving formula. You believe me. Right now you believe. That's all. Why I removed? Because AS is unknown. Okay, okay. See, if I stick to something, I never deviate. AS. Okay. We require to find what is the ASC. Therefore, we need FSC. We need FSC. That is, what is FSC? I will tell little later when I go to the... Actually, you already know it. I have told stress in compression steel. Analysis problem, it is stress to be considered. Design problem, it is design stress. That I will discuss later when I go to next round. Now, right here. To get the FSC, to get FSC, we need Epsilon SC. That is, you should write strain in steel in compression or how much is the strain in compression steel okay now for that what to do is come here in the strain diagram where as is there dotted line mark epsilon it is not epsilon c this is epsilon c maximum epsilon c dash here from here you come to the level CG of the ASC and mark it as Epsilon C dash. One minute. Let me check the camera. Should not go out of the camera. I'm not, not going. Sometimes it happens. Suddenly after the class I realize it. Okay. Now right here. Don't we require Epsilon SC. Right. Let Epsilon C dash you should write B strain in concrete at the level of Compression steel. So it is not here. Say somewhere here. This level. Now, find epsilon C dash. See how using similar triangles. See here. Epsilon C dash divided by this is XU. This is D dash. So this will be XU minus D dash equal to epsilon C maximum of point epsilon C maximum of point not not three five divided by XU. XU. From this one, you will get the value of what? Epsilon C dash. Now, but we want Epsilon SC. Ready? Therefore, I will write here Epsilon C dash equal to 0 0.0035 into XU minus D dash divided by XU. Okay. But this is strain in concrete. But we want strain in steel. Now, 
you should go back to strength of materials member of composite section remember in a member of composite section there is a term called strain compatibility is there strain in both the materials at any uh, will be always same or at any level in a beam here strain in steel will be equal to strain in concrete that is member of composite section where cross if you cut take the cross section what happens you can see two materials one small information for you in strength of material see suppose just to actually out of the subject you have a steel bar here steel continue with an another bar say brass they give okay now apply a load here apply a load here 100 kN here steel here brass so many people call this as composite member no i never call composite member i use correct name member of composite section so this can be called composite but it is not member of composite section because if i take a section here you can see only steel if i take a section here you can see only brass so this is a composite member but i call this as compound member to avoid confusion here load is transferred see whatever load you apply here will be transferred this side now same way suppose you have steel here and side by side brass okay anywhere one place steel one place brass steel brass now if you apply a load of 100 kN see anything now if i take cross section here in the cross section you can see two materials one steel one brass this is member of composite see rcc when you take cross section you can see concrete and steel both that's why rc member cross section is a member of composite section here load is transferred but here load is shared see here if i hold side by side load is transferred if i hold one above the other one and this way load is shared but remember here strain will be same strain is same for both if the length is same okay here also length is same therefore make a note if you are interested write all these things depends upon your how much importance you are giving okay therefore write here this epsilon c dash is equal to what epsilon sc whatever strain comes in concrete is the strain in steel therefore later directly we will write epsilon sc equal to 0.0035 into xu minus d dash divided by xu actually it is given in is code you need not bother still i thought when i conduct this class let me give maximum information so that see this composite one so many will not be knowing so this is the for member of composite section so this is for wa info section sagging hogging both singly you have to find only ast w you have to find ast and ac both and remember when you do numerical your breadth d and then what these all other things will be given for you uh, i will tell later what all will be given for you you had unknown should be only ast and ac for doubly or only ast for singly okay now over now now we are entering our real class that is how to find reinforcement see so far i talked little fast because general information now i decided to change the way of my talking so that sometime people tell you are talking is little fast sir no in the class i am not fast i decided to change the pattern i will implement it now onwards because now onwards is a real class this much is the information for you okay. i'll start now now our real class will start see once again i wrote because actual class will start from here all information i have given earlier 
is just to give more knowledge for you. See, but a little shortcut is there. Procedure from here seriously go through. In between, some extra explanation I will give that all you write outside, not in the main sheet. Why? Extra explanation if you write in the main sheet, confusion. Anything extra I told, write outside. You can make out later. To decide whether cross section is to be designed as singly reinforced or double reinforced. And accordingly, means after deciding to find required cross sectional area of longitudinal RI means reinforcement. That means to find AST required if singly reinforced and AST required and AST required if doubly reinforced. Data for our class by the time in the design you reach this stage these all will be known for you. Remember why data because here I am explaining how to find AST or AST and ASC. So when you design a beam when you reach this stage these all known for you. So start. You write if you want. Breadth B, effective depth D, make a note. Maybe overall depth is given with effective cover. Okay. FCK, FY, usual. And very important, MU, factored BM to be resisted by cross C, factored BM to be resisted by the cross section. See here. How much BM are? You can see, I applied BM beyond the limit. See, see you saw what happens now? See, good. What happened is, this is a little thin member. I thought it is a steel member. So, it's a little brittle material. I applied, luckily, nothing happened to hand. It is very sharp edges there. A good lesson for me. So, you saw what happened. Good. That means, I applied a bending moment which is more than the capacity of this cross section, not length. Whatever capacity of this cross section is there to resist bend accidentally happened, but good. I am losing this one, but you will gain knowledge. Okay. MU. Okay. Now, first, based on FY, get X max by D. I will not tell this one. Why? How many times told? Okay, over. Then, first to find MU limit. Actually, it is given in the IS code. IS code given. MU limit in the IS code language is limiting MR for singly reinforced rectangular balance section. Or, you can understand, MU limit is the maximum factored BM that can be resisted by singly reinforced rectangular balance section. If the cross section is singly reinforced, that is only AST is there, how much maximum it can resist. Okay. Formula. This is known for you. IS code has given 0.36 x u max by d into 1 minus 0.42 x u max by d b d square f c k. See, regarding this square, I explain at least half an hour in the class, regular class. Why this square and what is the reason why the square came? Three, four reasons are there. Leave it. Into f c k. Now, continued. Remember, Procedure continued. Now, class, before I go further, some extra information. Write if you want. Somewhere outside, but remember, not here. Somewhere outside. Outside means not outside the book actually. In the book somewhere. Better write it. Singly reinforced. Compression resisted by concrete. Tension resisted by AST. Single. It is single, doubly reinforced, see, compression resisted by concrete and also ASC, so, and tension as usual by AST. So, singly means single, doubly means, so you can remember now, doubly reinforced means, means extra help, extra or additional, extra or additional help. Help too singly. I am telling simple language. Now, see if your MU 
factored BM to be resisted is within the capacity of singly reinforced section, you don't require compression steel. For example, see, all outside actually, outside. Suppose your MU is 100 unit, kilowatt meter. MU limit, that is your red color one. MU limit is, oh, not red color, it's a other color, is 120. Tell the meaning. So your MU is less than MU limit. MU is 100, MU limit is 120. 120 is maximum BM singly can resist. But your applied BM is only 100. So you are applying a bending moment which is within the capacity of the maximum limit for singly. Therefore, cross action will be singly reinforced and it will also be under reinforced. Reason, if you want, for MU limit, imagine AST required, required is 1000 mm square. For 100 km meter, required is say 900. So, steel required for this cross section is less than that for a balance section. That also will tell it is under reinforced section. If it is under reinforced section, you can use MU equal to TU into liver arm A and find AST. I will give step for you. Okay, now, by chance, if the bending moment is, see, suppose your bending moment MU is 150, but limiting capacity MU limit is only 120. Our cross section has to resist a bending moment of 150. But singly section maximum possible is 120. So extra help required. So you can tell here your MU which is 150 is more than MU limit of 120. Cross section becomes doubly reinforced. Okay. Now still better if you got difficulty of uh, if you got confusion or I'll remove this one now. See, this you can take, don't take screenshot. Sometimes people tell how to take screenshot. Or, I'll give one more example, money matter. Singly means, singly means single. Single. You yourself, you yourself. Suppose you have 1000 rupees with you. This 1000 rupees is your MU limit. Thousand rupees. As I, an Indian, I talk about rupees. So, your MU is how much you have to pay. You have to pay maybe in a restaurant after eating. How much you have to pay after restaurant? Now, suppose the bill, the or you can tell it's the bill, bill. Suppose the bill MU is 900 rupees. Bending moment means bill. You have to see there, cross section has to resist the bending moment. Here, you have to pay the bill, 900 rupees. Singly, you yourself has got 1000 rupees. Therefore, happily, little more money still left out. That's why under reinforced. Your full capacity is not used. You do not require help. It is singly. But if the bill comes, see this one, now second one, imagine the bill comes to 1200 rupees. Oh, the bill amount MU is more than MU limit. Your bill came 1200, you have got only 1000 rupees. So you alone, singly, you cannot pay. Some extra help required. The extra help is from ASC. ASC on compression side and tension side extra steel will come, I will discuss later. So you can remember this way also, but first of all, if you understand all the basic concepts, such examples are not required, all these, you make a note outside. So our class point of view, I told, find MU limit, you got the answer, it will be continued, that's all. These all right outside.
I already told, compare MU with MU limit. Second time I wrote, because you understand. Already wrote one. Start. Case one. MU is less than or even equal also will do. MU limit. Like, your money is 1000 rupees. Bill also 1000 rupees. Okay. Come back home empty handed. But you are safe. Then cross section is designed as singly reinforced. Also under reinforced. Don't put URI, SRI. Therefore, we have to find AST required only. You can write only AST required. Now, for a singly reinforced section, which is also under reinforced, you can use MU in terms of TU, uh, tension in terms of a TU and A. Or, IS code has given this equation. MU equal to 0 0.87 FY ASTD into 1 minus AST FY by BDFCK. Substitute, see. AST is the unknown, AST, AST, AST square, AST constant, AST and constant. We will get a quadratic equation in terms of AST. Solving, we will get two positive values of AST. This I told in the earlier class also. If you get two positive values, but remember, only one of them is applicable. If we get two positive values, in the applicable range, when only one applicable value is there in engineering mechanics or strength of materials or structural analysis, my class stops there because it will never come. This I will explain in a separate class uploading later like important tips for some structural concepts. Series, series I am uploading. So, but remember in RCC, there's a reason why two positive values came. No, sorry. That all if I tell now, it will take a lot of time. I had to go to equation, curvature, all, leave it. So, you believe me, you also know it. Two positive values will come for which of which applicable value is the least value. Remember, least value. So, when you solve a problem, what you write? Solve the quadratic equation, consider the least value as AST required. Over. This will complete how to find AST required for a singly reinforced section. Okay, remember now, one note here. This is only for singly. See, you, you make a note here. This is possible only for singly. You cannot use this for double reinforced section. There something else is there. There AST split wise you have to calculate. So, I told for a singly reinforced, very very important. Okay, over. Now, case 2. See here, MU lesser, limit more. See, bending moment lesser, capacity more. Here, bending moment more, capacity lesser. So, cross section designed as doubly reinforced. We have to find AST required and also AC required. Before proceeding further, write one important statement. This statement you have to write. See, class. Why this statement is required? Reason is there. But if I keep on telling those things all regarding the unknown, limiting value all, I think this class will become systematic RCC class. Full-fledged RCC class. No. I am supposed to tell you, my commitment is what? How procedure to find now, AST and AST. Still, I am giving a lot of important information. So, very important. Class means what? I told very important right here. In case of doubly reinforced section, for this statement, you have to write. For doubly reinforced sections, required cross sectional areas of longitudinal reinforcement means AST, AC are calculated corresponding to a balance section. If you forget this step, you will get stuck in between. So, this step should never forget or little later when you go to procedure suddenly you'll find the x u max there then you will realize oh correct correct x u max okay that is taking x u equal to x u max we already know x u max by d so cross multiply get x u max okay now i'll continue will be continued now i won't write what i am continuing so we have to find AST required and AC required. The statement you require, now you know the value of X max. Okay. 
Now, I forgot to tell one thing. Data I told B, D, then what? B, D, F, C, K, F, Y. And if applicable, you require D dash also. I, I returned the last time in the board I wrote. I did not tell it. Okay. Now, I will go further. How to find AST and AC for W and post? Fresh. I will start. Now, we have to find AST required and AC required. Remember, technically we write calculation of AST required and AC required. But remember, first you have to find AC required. Then only AST required. Reason is there. First find AC required by the equation MU minus MU limit equal to FSC AC into D minus D dash. Simple. MU minus MU limit will give you extra additional MR required. Stress in compression steel into area into liver arm. Okay. Anyway, or nothing to worry, it is given in the IS code. So then all are happy. Okay. Now, see, we want to find AC required. Everything is known. You require FSC. So right here, FSC is one minute. In analysis problem, I call it stress to be considered. But design cases, I call it design stress in steel in compression. Same thing given in IS code. To get FSC, first find epsilon SC. Strain in steel in compression. See, same formula. Just now I told formula, but I wrote XU there. But now you know that XU equal to XU max. Or why worry? This is given in the IS code. Then people are happy. Oh, okay, sir, thank you. They will tell. IS code given is they are very happy. They will tell. What do you will do? I will copy it from there, sir. Ah, ha, ha. Not copy. If you tell refer IS code, don't tell copy from IS code. Okay. Now, we got epsilon SC. Very, very important. For that epsilon SC calculated, get FSC. Some student will ask, sir, how? See? Sorry. It is told so thoroughly earlier. Earlier analysis cases, once for principle, once for procedure, then once for numericals. Many, many examples. When you reach here, if you cannot get FSC, better not continue my class. Therefore, right here. You right here. Get FSC, right here. He is not explaining because it is so thoroughly covered during analysis problems. And so much I covered that somebody who is having good knowledge, he will feel, Sir, how many times you are telling same thing again, 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 again? Yes, I will tell. You may not require it, but so many people are there who require it. So, this is your problem. If you cannot get it, immediately go back to old classes. See there. Examples, procedure and example, you go back and study all the problems better. If you are learning all the problems or... If you are not interested, only a passive you require, see the procedure sheet there. There you can see. Procedure to find FSC is there with the numericals. Work out. Okay, now, FSC over substitute. Sometime, should ask, substitute where? Where else? Here only. That's why I told you this equation. Substitute. Find AC required. Okay, now, we got the value of AC required. Now, you have to find AST required. I will try here now. Okay. This I am not removing now. See, this I am removing now. Not required now. Why you unnecessary break? I will continue. Now, see, next. Next, I will write here. Next, find. I can start there. I will write here. AST required. Okay, see now, AST required. I will continue. Right. AST required. Equal to AST1 plus 
AST2. Usually, but remember, if it is my regular class, I take at least half an hour to explain this concept. But here, that much time is not there. I will tell one by one. The AST is one, you require AST1, that is for singly end post section. And this is additional steel to balance compression force in compression steel. Okay. Anyway, this is also given in IS code. Some will tell, oh, thank you, sir. Then good. Okay, now one by one. See, I write here. What is AST1? AST1 is cross-sectional area, area of steel in tension, steel in tension for a singly reinforced rectangular rectangular section for IS code told for MU limit MU limit or you can tell that is for single rectangle section for MU limit means that is you can tell here that is your AST1 AST1 is AST for singly reinforced rectangular rectangular limit means what? Balance section. Balance section. This much explanation is sufficient. That is for XU equal to X u max, remember X u max for singly reinforced section. How to find it? See, we have for singly reinforced rectangular section in the beginning of I, this also given in the IS code section, X u by d value is given in IS code as 0.87. Fy into AST divided by 0.36 FCKBD. This you know it. Equation for neutral axis. This is given in the IS code. Okay. Now, this is for singly. What you do? Here. Replace. Replace AST by. This is AST for singly. That is AST1. AST by what? by AST1 and substitute substitute XU by D equal to XU max by D XU max by D that is I will tell you here equation is XU by D equal to 0 0.87 FY into AST divided by 0.36 FCKBD, this XU by D, you substitute XU max by D and that AST, you replace it by AST1. Okay. And IS code told, this is the total. Total means singly AST plus extra AST. They use the word total. Okay, now. Or A. AST1, AST2 are split. This is total only. Okay, now, AST1 over. Now, to find AST2, next, next, get, or find, next, find AST2. AST2. I will tell what is AST2. That is, just only for information, otherwise not required. That is, additional, Tension additional area, additional cross sectional area of tension reinforcement to balance compression force in compression steel, that is in ASC steel. How? See. Additional tension force is 0.87 Fy into AST2. Compression force in steel is FSC ASC. Therefore, you can tell AST2 equal to 
एफ एस सी यू आलरेडी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एस सी बाई दिस टाइम एफ एस सी ए एस सी डिवाइड बाई पॉइंट एट सेवन इन टू एफ वाई इज एस टी टू एनी वे ई विल टेल इन द क्लास इट इज गिवन इन द ई एस कोड देन अगेन स्टूडेंट्स ओ थैंक यू सर देन सी देन दे विल टेल दिस इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड सी द मोमेंट ई टेल इट इज गिवन इन द ई एस कोड पीपल टेल प्रिंसिपल नॉट रिक्वायर्ड This is the usual story nowadays. Okay, okay. Over now. A T two one, and now therefore, finally, finally get what cross sectional area of tension reinforcement for doubly reinforced section. That is A S T. That is A S T. Means IS code used to be total. Actually, total not required because why W means total only. Total equal to how much? Equal to AST one plus AST two over. Now make note. Procedure over. Complete. Now some extra information I thought of giving, but I decided if I give those things all. it will be confusing so better not give sufficient this all i will give i in the regular class i give it but here sufficient now the most powerful part i will ask students what sir problems see i will ask see students think problems are more powerful no principle and explanations are more powerful problem is mechanical but no student will tell Sir, problems are the most important. Why, sir? Marks, examination, principle. Okay, sir. We'll manage. How? We'll buy hard the procedure. Anyway, modern trend is that way. I am helpless. Okay, now I'll go to numericals now. Okay, I'll tell that. I'll tell that one. I told earlier also. I'll tell it. Not a big one. Small one. See, if you want, you can do one thing. One small information. Actually, not required. i thought better tell it there may people who are interested this is splitting of ast is not required you can directly get see after see note after finding ac required ac required we can find ast required directly in one step one step that is by equating compression force in concrete plus compression force in steel equal tension force tu in ast that is 0.36 fck into b into xu plus F S C into E A S C equal to point eight seven F Y into A S T. As usual, X U replace X U max. A S T is already A S C is already known. Substituting get A S T required. A S T required, which is total only. Actually, if you observe here. Both are same. See here. Point three six F C K B D D cancels. Point F C K B into B into X U equal to point eight seven F Y into A S T. Okay, A S T over. Then F S C A C F S C A C by point eight seven F Y is A S T two. So it is same thing. But this is the correct approach because it will tell you systematically first find for singly find addition. Okay, whatever you want, you can do. This you can use directly and get the answer. Just information. When I do a problem, I will show it also. Okay, now get ready for problems. We'll start numerical example. two powerful examples question 1 and question 2 instead of dictating i wrote on the board 
Remember, question 1 is for singly, question 2 for doubly. Little small are written because space problem. You can do one thing. I mean, I am explaining here. See, a rectangular section of a RC beam has a width of 250 millimeter and overall depth of 500 millimeter. If not visible, 500 overall depth. It is subjected to a bending moment of 120 km meter sagging. Bending moment for cross section 120 sagging. Taking M30 concrete and torque steel upgrade FE415, decide whether cross section is to be designed as singly or doubly and accordingly find required cross sectional area of longitudinal reinforcement. They told effective cover to tension steel, take it as 50 mm. This, is, this comes in the design part. Before you come here, you decided effective cover. Okay, then tension side. Uh, for tension steel, 50 mm. And if applicable, they see they are not knowing whether singly or doubly. So they are telling all data. If applicable, take effective cover of 45 mm to compression steel. Okay, leave it. First, start here. Solution. Write the cross section, all in millimeter. Overall depth here, sagging BM, tension bottom, effective or tension steel given 50, D. If you want, write here, breadth of the beam, effective depth, all you write. B, 250, D, 500 minus 50, 450, M30, FCK, TOR of 415, FY, for FY, 415, X max by D, 0.48. Bending moment for cross section is given as 120 km meter. Be careful. Now, very, very important. See? Very, very important. Limit state method. Whenever they told bending moment is 120, it is understood that it is corresponding to service load or working load. You have to factor it. Otherwise, it is a criminal offense. Why? You are designing a building or beam so that at the working load or service load only, beam will reach the ultimate state. Therefore, if they give factored BM, okay, no problem. But if working, if nothing given, understood that it is working load, corresponding to working load. So, very, very important. Taking gamma F 1.5 as per S code, factored BM MU equal to 120 into 1.5, 180 km meter over. Now, required, see little small I written, but actually you know it. What is in the question, same I wrote. I will read it slowly, it's not visible. To decide whether cross-section is, is to be, oh, grammar problem, okay. Cross-section is to be, I give value for grammar, is to be designed as singly reinforced or doubly reinforced and then accordingly we have to find required cross-sectional area of line reinforcement means if singly you have to find AST required, if doubly you have to find AST required and AC required. I am telling 10th time today. Okay. When cross section is subjected to factored BM MU of 180 10 to the power 6 Newton millimeter. Okay, start procedure. First, right, we have for a thing just now given procedure. First, you find MU limit. I written statement also here. MU limit formula thoroughly explained, substitute everything. I don't have to tell like high school students 0.36 x u max by d, see somewhere here x u max by d. 1 is in the calculator, B is 250, D, substitute, MU limit will come, 209.53, 10 to the power 6, Newton millimeter. Okay, now start. There, uh, from there, do one thing, I will tell where to go, come here, come here. Therefore, compare, MU, 180, bending moment is 180, limiting capacity is 209, oh, bending moment is, MU is less than MU limit, cross section designed as single reinforced, also under reinforced, so we have to find only AST required. Now I will do one thing now, little portion I will remove here, so that I can complete. See, in time, I am not, able, I am not getting that rubbing part. Sometimes I see here. Now, do one thing now, see, this I will remove. I will tell you why I am removing. Okay, start. Sufficient space. This much already over. Okay, start. Yes, see. We have 
for singly reinforced and also what under reinforced section mu equal to 0.87 fy into systematic means systematic only ast into d into 1 minus ast color ast fy divided by bd fck okay substitute mu 180 10 to the power 6 equal to 0 0.87 415 into AST into D is 450 into bracket 1 minus AST into 415 divided by B 250 D 450 FCK 30. Now do one thing. Solving the quadratic equation you get AST equal to, see, I already solved it actually, 1323.16 plus 1323.16 mm square, comma, other value is plus 6809, 6809.37 mm square. Just one minute, let me check the camera once. I came down too, too much down. Yes, fully visible, no problem. Space is there. Okay, now most important. Next. Taking least value. I told the reason for you, not reason procedure, least value. A T required. You can write there if you want for the given cross section for resisting the given factor at BM, cross-sectional area of tension reinforcement required is 1323.16 mm square. Now make a note. Now, this is, you should write a note from strength. When you provide later, you have to refer IS code. But whatever IS code will tell, this much steel should be provided. You cannot provide less than this steel because this is strength based. Okay, over. Now go to second question that is W in post section. I will do one thing. I will, I will change the question here and start W in post section. And one more thing W in post section ACAST I will do in front of you only. Everything I will write in front of you because why? Singly is very easy. The most entire class, the most critical is W I post. Okay, start numerical example two. I change the question. See, last time I won't read once again. It is little late night also. If I talk very loudly, others can hear. Therefore, better limit the talking. So, see, 300 by 550. Bending moment. This time they told directly factored BM. So, see that given factored BM. Therefore, this time multiplying by gamma F is not there because they told factored. Okay, then M20 FE 500. M20 FE 500. X max by D is 0.46. Question is same. They told this time, tension side effective over 75. Some reason will be there. What reason? Maybe the 300 kN meter bending moment is very high bending moment for this section. Maybe they thought reinforced bending bars for tension may be required in two rows. That's why they told more. Anyway, for you, it is given as 75. That all comes in design. When I take the design classes, I explain all those things. How much effective or you have to take, how to decide whether bars are in one row or two row. If it is a two rows are coming, if you take one row, it is a drawback, unsafe. But if you consider two rows, but later provide one row, it is over safe. That all I discussed there. Okay, now, stop. All data given here. 
सेम एस लास्ट टाइम स्टेटमेंट न्यू मेडिकल वैल्यू बेंडिंग मनी चेंजिंग थ्री हंड्रेड ओके राइट सिस्टमेटिक राइट इयर फर्स्ट एम यू लिमिट सी आई वन चेंज वैल्यूज एक्स मैक्स बाई डी आंसर केम वन एटी पॉइंट एट सेवन टेन टू द पवर सिक्स न्यू टेन मिलीमीटर कंपेर एम यू थ्री हंड्रेड सी सॉरी दिस टाइम एम यू इज बिगर सी to understand mu is 300 mu limit is small means weakness is there mu limit see bending moment 300 limiting capacity 209 cross section is more doubly reinforced so we have to find ast required and also ac required okay now i will start systematically i decided this last part which is most critical not to write on the board i will write in front of you only so i will put heading here if you want what is next step next step will be what next step calculation of calculation of what ast required required and ये ये सी रिक्वायर्ड दिस इज नेक्स्ट पार्ट फुल बोर्ड आई रिमूव नो मेक द बोर्ड फुल फ्रेश सो दैट एनीथिंग आई वांट आई कैन राइट नो बट आई टोल्ड यू वन स्टेटमेंट यू आर राइट आई राइट हियर नो वेरी पावरफुल स्टेटमेंट रिक्वायर्ड क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरियाज ऑफ लॉन्जिट्यूडिनल रेनफोर्समेंट means what that is ast and ac are calculated corresponding to a to a balance section balance section that is consider or a take or take that is take x u wherever x u comes take x u max okay now one minute we already know x u max by d equal to 0.46 therefore your x u max equal to 0.46 Into d, where is d? D is 475. 475. Therefore, remember, for this question now, therefore now for this complete solution, wherever x u comes, you write equal to x u max. Equal to how much answer? I'll calculate now. This I'll calculate now. 0.46 into 475. 218.5. It is 218.5. Equal to 218.5 millimeter. This statement I told you. Remember, over. Further steps I will write in front of you only, so that see as I told, I don't require anything. But numerical somewhere corner I will prepare and write it because I cannot waste time on calculation. Okay. start up to here i already told calculus of a state ac up to here i told now write one section see earlier ac was not shown now ast as usual extra asc and this is d dash in the question they told what is given in the question if applicable for compression steel take effective core of 50 mm so d dash given 50 mm okay other things are same Okay, I'll start now. The first, I write. I'll start from here. Okay. First, find. Now I am writing in front of you only. First, find A C required. How? 
we have if you want you can write is code as given it mu minus see systematic means systematic only mu limit equal to okay fsc into asc into d minus d dash one minute just the camera i'm checking okay space is there write one statement here see i little bend and write fsc is i told already if it is analysis problem you cannot take x u equal to x u max fsc you have to write stress to be considered but the design problem it is corresponding to x u max is code has told it fsc is design stress stress in compression steel or compression reinforcement corresponding to a strain in compression reinforcement compression reinforcement that is epsilon sc okay start i'm standing up now right this is also given in is code epsilon sc equal to 0.0035 into now remember design problem x u max minus d dash divided by x u max so many people make the mistake this you can use only for design analysis you have to write x u only major blunder so many are committing okay start equal to 0.0035 into x u max is 218.5 minus 50 divided by 218.5 this will come point not not where i wrote it 270 okay 270 okay now no to find fsc for epsilon sc calculated value equal to point not not 270 right this is where i told sorry i will not explain it is done so many times but still i will complete the question systematically start remember it is a tar steel make a note it is tar steel of grade fe 500 that was important fe 500 right we have i am simply writing without explaining See, this portion is thoroughly told earlier, so I am not explaining. We have strain in compression steel, or you can write directly, why? We have epsilon SC at proportionality limit. I told PL limit equal to 0 0.80 Fy by 1.15 divided by Es equal to 0 0.80 Fy is 500 by 1.15 Es is 2 10 to the power 5. It will come 0 0.00174. Now compare. Therefore, Epsilon Sc calculated is more than epsilon sc proportionality limit this is how much point not not two seven zero this is here only therefore get fsc from is code figure a figure a page number i forgot okay shall i give page number also okay i tell search is code again problem where in the IS code I will search now. I am not cursing anybody. Page number 70. Okay. Page number 70. Page 70. See, I 
I will tell what to do. Fy karo. Fy by 1.15 karo. Use this karo. Somewhere here you can see 0.00. How much? 0.00. 27. Somehow mark it. Go there. Come here. Then, this karo. Somewhere here you can see 0.94. Correct? 0.94. Some, uh, not 0.94. Somewhere here you can see 0.9. Little, uh, see, see, somewhere here, you raise it here, exaggeration. Somewhere here you can see 0 0.9. 0 0.9 FY. Little upper side, you can see 0 0.95 FY. So, if I see correctly, 91, 92, 93, 94. Little portion is there, 945. Okay. We get, we get for epsilon sc calculated equal to f of how much of 0 0.00270 fsc equal to 0 0.945 fy but don't forget i told divided by 1.15 this is very important now if you use sp16 you will almost get same answer or equal to 0.945 into 500 divided by 1.15 equal to where is it? 4 where I wrote? 410.87 410.87 Newton per mm square if you see SP16 you may get 410.9 or 411 okay that's okay now substituting where I should not tell where. Right mark. In right. Okay, start. M U. 300 10 to the power 6 minus M U limit. Red color. M U limit I noted down there. 180.87. 180.87 10 to the power 6 equal to FSC. Say it. FSC is 410.87 into your ASC into D is 475 minus 50. Therefore, you get ASC required. ASC required, sufficient. 682.23. See, this I do only for recorded classes. Because if it is a live, either if it is a offline class, I never come prepared for any question. Students will tell the answer. Steps I don't require reference. If it is live online class, student will tell the answer from there. Here, nobody is telling. So, this is the answer. Okay, now, AST over. AST over. Next, lastly. Next, now, to find which one? AST required. Right, statement. This is also given in IS code. AST required. IS code used a word total. Actually, not required. They used a word total there. Okay. Total equal to AST1 plus AST2. Now, systematically. AST1 is area of, is actually technically you are right what, is cross sectional area of tension steel for singly reinforced rectangular balance section. Rectangular balance section. Actually, IS code told for MU limit. Both are same meaning. Okay, start. Right. We have for singly reinforced 
rectangular section x u by d equal to 0.87 f y into a s t divided by 0.36 f c k b d right here replace that a s t by a s t 1 and substitute x u by d equal to x u max by d for this question it is 0.46 done substituting hope yeah, that's not gone out of camera again same problem sometimes i get doubt okay okay no problem last moment if after the class is over if i find out that one problem it is substituting x u by d replaced by what you can write here see you can make a small but to write neatly then you write once again see this way you replace it by to understand correctly second time you write write second time x u max by d and this one you replace by a t1 okay substituting 0.46 equal to 0.87 into 500 into a t1 divided by 0.36 20 into 300 into d is 475 therefore you get a t1 a t1 equal to 1084 Point nine seven mm square. See, suppose if there is any calculation mistake, is there you change it? Don't make issue of this one. Okay, now lastly, what require? A S T two right here. A S T two is actually not required. I S code formula they still right is is cross sectional area or is okay. It right, is additional additional. cross sectional area of tension reinforcement small i am writing because space is not there tension reinforcement to balance compression force in compression steel asc again nothing to worry is code has told the formula ast2 equal to fsc Into A S C divided by 0.87 F Y equal to F S C. Where is F S C? F S C is here. 410.87. 410.87 into A S C. A S C A S C is A S C is known. Where is A S C? 682.23. Okay, same color. 682. Here, two three. Divided by 0.87 into 500 equal to 644.39. 644.39 mm square. Now space problem. Where shall I write it now? Okay, now I can do one thing. I can remove this one to conclude the question. To conclude the question, I can remove. You can take a screenshot later. To conclude, I remove this one now. Closing part. Therefore, A S T required. That is, I S code told total, total actually not required. Equal to A S T one plus A S T two equal to A S T one one zero eight four. Eight four point nine seven plus another one six forty four point three nine six forty four point three nine equal to one seven two nine point three six one seven two nine point three six mm square. Now conclusion. Therefore, your final verdict 
for given cross action for resisting complete system yes or systematic resisting given factored bm mu of or equal to mu equal to 300 kilo newton meter see cross sectional area of tension steel tension steel or not cross sectional area i should write required required cross sectional area of tension steel total that is see construction site you don't tell ast1 ast2 you tell only ast 1729.36 mm square and okay and or you can write here cross section is found to be doubly reinforced you can write that also okay required cross sectional area of compression steel or steel in compression that is asc required this is ast i ast required i forgot that ast required ac required equal to 682. Point. 23 mm square is the conclusion over question is fully over now just a note what i told earlier just a small note see i'll do one thing now make a note this much calculation you can avoid by a single step this one you can avoid see this is this everything you can avoid but actually this is systematic technically this is correct but still to understand or make a note note once we got asc required that is same fsc etc everything is there 682.23 mm square we can directly find find ast required ast required in one step ast required directly find ast required by equating cu to tu okay resultant right resultant compression force in concrete plus compression steel equal tension force in steel equation is 0.36 fck into b into xu plus fsc into asc equal to 0.87 fy into ast remember this ast is a total only total it is asc here okay, forgot color asc start but remember xu replaced by xu max therefore start substituting therefore 0.36 into 20 into 300 into x u is uh, 218.5 into 218.5 plus fsc fsc is 410.87 410.87 into asc 682.23 equal to 0.87 into 500 in total ast this will give you ast total required equal to mm square see i am calculating now then i will write and close the class with a little more information this is calculator here but i am turning the calculator here see One seven two nine point three six mm square. Oh, same answer. See? <laughs> Students, no cheating. Okay, this shows confidence. If it is not coming, let me see. 
it will surely come without that much confidence i won't tell anything over now good luck to all law single class i covered everything use this opportunity to learn now in rcc part i am uploading little more one analysis of t section very important for especially competitive examination like examinations and practical also required then design of shear reinforcement by limit state method once with vertical stirrups and then with using cranked bars also that already over working stress method limit state method that's all once that is over i will announce in the class i am going to start fresh all previous classes sidelined it will be there i am not removing it fresh i am starting i will announce what is my plans to teach structures if possible to the entire world i know i got the capacity without a single mistake of course calculation mistake spelling mistake occasional grammar mistake nothing can be done but the nonsense all i won't write here there is no scope there for anybody to comment this is wrong that is wrong if someone tells that is wrong i will tell you are wrong that's all my students also will tell someone tells ksn has done wrong me they will tell you are wrong keep quiet okay just for fun i told now go through this class complete class in single one that is class earlier five parts are there now single part sometime places small are written so you make a little need fair copy everything make a need fair copy and learn this class is very important for design part okay all the best dark class request has not yet come i wait for